Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS VivoBook 15 laptop. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the RAM and what is the maximum RAM capacity for this one. This specific one is an X512J. That information can be found on the bottom cover of the laptop, which is really hard to see because you have to put focus right there and you can find the exact model. In this laptop do come with an 8 gig and 16 gig uh, version and if you check on the website and if you call ASUS uh, support line they tell you maximum that you can go is 8 gig or you, they will tell you which is a 16 gig max but that's far away from the truth uh, I made a video how you can check your maximum capacity for your laptop or PC I'll leave that link in my video description check that out you don't need any application or anything and it will tell you exactly how much RAM you can have. This particular one can go up to 32 gig with no issues and is not maximum 16 gig. It's a 32 gig you can put. But I will recommend you guys to go with a 16 gig, which is that that's more than enough for games or any other application for daily use. All right, to get to the RAM, on the first you need to power up the laptop and on the bottom cover, bottom bottom of the laptop you won't be see any cover for the ramp pretty much you have to remove the whole bottom cover to do that we need an opening tool and a screwdriver set i recommend you guys to grab the iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there these are s2 class steel these are really tough and steel and they will last you in many years we want to grab a phillips number one if you get the pro set you get some opening tools and tweezers and and a few other tools you get but if you don't want to get the pro set get the basic set is really good and handy for the opening tool i'm going to be using a guitar pick and metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers with this on hand now we're going to remove all the screws at the bottom cover here and there's only one long screw and that's the one on the left and um, back side on the left side when you flip it over if you have the front towards yourself this side, this one is the only screw that is long. Let me know in the video comment if yours is the same. Maybe they've, on the assembly line, they put a long one in here. This is long by one millimeter. So let's keep that to one side. And we're gonna go ahead and remove the rest of the screws. Let me see if the front, yeah, the front ones and the screws on the front row, these are the short ones. So we have three types of screws. The short screws on the front row, which are four of them and the mid screw mid back and to the back right these are the medium and the single wrong screw is on the left top corner so go ahead and remove all the screws and keep them in one pile so you don't mismatch them also if you guys like my videos and you want to support the channel you can do that by clicking that like and subscribe i'll greatly appreciate it it will motivate me make to make more video take requests answer your questions in the comment area i appreciate that there we have it so if you measure the screws the long one this one is long by at least one millimeter longer so you don't want to put a long screw on a short place otherwise it's going to go over the other side of the case anyway so once you remove all the screws including the one in the middle now what you want to do is to open up the cover here we're going to start from one corner by the in the corner here we're going to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover and we're going to twist it outward and you're going to hear a few clicks that's what you want to hear you want to work yourself all around to the front corner and do the same thing in the front side i'm just moving every one or two centimeters and i'm just rotating and you're going to see the case opening you're not scratching or anything and those sounds that you hear that's fine that's what you want to hear that's why the clips are getting loose so do that all the way from the side to side and the front once you got that, you can just grab it from front end and bring it up and wiggle it around and it will release itself from the back end. That's the bottom cover right there. And down here, you're gonna see the hole inside of the laptop. There's the battery, the hard drive, the solid state drive, and the RAM right away here. There is only one RAM DIMM available in here, and that's this one. There is no RAM DIMM on the other side of the board or anything like that. Even if your task manager tells you one out of two, that's wrong because there's only one dim available. 
To remove the RAM, it's really simple. You do not need to remove the battery to do this process at all. It's absolutely not necessary. To remove the RAM, all you need to do is to pull these two triggers away from each other. And the RAM will pop out in 45 degree angle. Once the RAM is out in 45 degree angle, you want to grab it in the same 45 degree angle. You want to pull it out in the same angle. You don't want to yank it upward, otherwise you're going to crack the dim or the RAM. This is a 4 gig version. These are a DDR4 in 3200 megahertz. You can grab a 16 gig or 8 gig, whatever you suit you want. And all you need to do, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the DIMM right over here. So if you try to put it the other way around, it will not go through. The notch don't match. So you want to grab it in a 45 degree angle. Slide it down all the way towards the DIMM. Push it towards the DIMM. I'm not pushing towards the motherboard. And then simply push it towards the motherboard from the middle. And you should hear these two triggers clicking. And if the triggers are straight, that means you did the job done. And if the triggers are straight, that means your RAM is in place in the correct position. If you, the triggers don't close down straight, that means you didn't push all the way in. It stay, it's really hard to push down, so don't even try it. So you have to go all the way in and then click it down. Once the RAM is in there, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, set it right straight over, and you want to push the corners, the back end, and one in the middle, there's a clip right in the middle, just press those. And if you see any opening, just grab it and pinch the top and the bottom, guys. So you see this opening right here? I'm just going to pinch, and I'm going to hear a loud sound clicking. So there we have There's one opening right here. Pinch, and it's all set. And the last thing down here would be to put the bottom screws. Remember, the top left corner is the long one, and then medium and the short one goes in the front end of the laptop i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own upgrade for you asus vivo book 15 model x512j as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you guys in my next video just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws and there we have it and just remember, once you turn on the laptop, it might take up to 5 to 10 seconds before the motherboard do a RAM check. So don't panic. Give it a little time. 5 to 10 seconds so it will run a memory check and it will stop booting up normally. So I'm going to power on. So for those people that say you don't power on, here I'm powering. I'm going to press F2 or F1 to go to the BIOS. And I already got my screen right there. And there we have it. This laptop does come with a 12 gig RAM. That means there's an 8 gig soldered on the board on the other side. So we got 8 gig soldered on the board and 4 gig uh, DIMM available. So you can upgrade that 4 gig to a 16 gig and it will add up with the other 8 gigs that you have soldered on the board.